Hey, welcome to Electron Online. And before we get going on those right triangles, we're going to do one more thing. The area of a sector of a circle like that. And again, there's going to be a relationship between the area, the angle, the radius, or the, yeah, the radius of the circle, and the arc length right here, S. And before we show you the relationship, we already know that R times theta is equal to S. So what would the area then be of that sector? And we'll get there in just a moment. First, what I'm going to do is see where the area of the circle comes from in the first place. Let's say we do this again with another circle like this. But now let's say we pick a very, very small angle here, very tiny angle. Let's say we take an angle of one degree. So theta is equal to one degree. We still have the radius of the circle. And now you can see that the arc length S, which is this distance right here, which is going to be very, very small, is going to be just about equal to the triangle. If we were to draw a triangle there, you can see that the opposite side there of the triangle, the far side of the, of the triangle, should be equal to this. Almost exactly the same. Not quite, but almost exactly the same. So if we call this the opposite angle, opposite angle, uh, I should say opposite side, not opposite angle, and that is equal to the height, h, of the triangle. We now have this very skinny triangle right here. Let me draw this a little bit bigger. So that's the same triangle right here. This is the angle theta, which is 1 degree. And this is the radius of the circle. And here's the arc length s, which is equal to the height of the triangle. Not exactly, but close enough. So what would the area of this very skinny triangle be equal to? Well, the area is equal to 1 half the base times the height of the triangle. Now you can see for very, very small angles, the base is the same distance as this hypotenuse of this triangle. So I can call the base equal to R, and I can call the height equal to S. So the, the area of that small little strip will be 1 half times R times S. All right, and what is S equal to? Well, coming back over here, we know that S is equal to R times theta. Theta, of course, being in in the radians, so the area of that triangle is equal to 1 half times r, and instead of s, we're going to write r times theta. So this is equal to 1 half r squared theta. Now, that would be the area of a small little triangle like that, just a little sliver of a triangle where the angle is 1 degree. What would now be the area of the entire circle? Well, that would be 360 times as much because if I then make 360 of those small little slivers of triangles, it would then cover the entire area of that circle. So the area of the circle then, the area of the circle, is equal to uh, 360 times the area of a single sliver. And a single sliver, let me just write it as a sub 1 like that. Now, what's the angle in this case? Well, the angle in this case is uh, one degree, right? So the angle theta is equal to one degree, but we have to convert that to radians. So we have to multiply that times pi radians divided by 180 degrees. So the degrees cancel out. So that means that that angle is pi over 180 radians. So this cannot be written as one half r squared times, and the angle is going to be pi divided by 180. All right. If I now take that area of a single triangle and multiply times 360, I should get the area of the entire circle. So the area of the circle is going to be equal to 360 times the area of a single triangle, which is 1 half r squared times pi over 180. All right, now notice that 360 divided by 180, that's 2, and 2 times 1 half is 1, which means that the area of a circle, and I happen to be run out of room here, so let me go over here. So the area of a circle, therefore, would be the 360 will cancel out with the 2 to the 180. It would be equal to pi r squared. And that's the way in which we found the area of a circle. Now that we know that, we can now find the area of a pi section of a circle by simply doing a ratio. You can then say that the area is equal so the way we can find the area of that sector is realizing that this angle theta is a portion of a complete 360 degree angle. So the, the area of the section is equal to the area of the circle, which would be section with an angle of 360 degrees, times the ratio of theta divided by 360 degrees. 
So we simply take the ratio of the angle of the section to the angle of a complete circle, and that ratio should be the same as the ratio between the area of the sector and the area of the complete circle. Now, remember that the area of a circle was found to be pi r squared, so the area of the sector is equal to pi r squared times the ratio of theta divided by 360 degrees. Or, if you want to do it in radians, that would be theta, of course, in degrees, or it would be pi r squared times the ratio of the angle in radians divided by 2 pi. And usually, we express the angle, angle in radians, then we use this, or in the case that we use the angle in degrees, we use this, but that's how we find the area of a sector. And for example, let's say that the radius is equal to 20 centimeters, and let's say that the angle theta is equal to 30 degrees, what would be the area of that sector? So then in that case, we're going to use this particular equation. So the area is going to be equal to pi times r, which is 20 centimeters. And we have to square that, times the ratio of the angle, we said it was 30 degrees, divided by 360 degrees. So in this case, we use the angle ratio. And now with a calculator, we can go uh, 30 divided by 360. We multiply that times 20 squared, which is 400, times the number pi, and we get 105 centimeters squared, 105 uh, centimeters squared. And that's how we go ahead and find the area of a sector of a circle, and just for information, that's how we find the area of a circle in the first place. Now you understand arc length and sectors on a circle. Now we're ready to start looking at right angle triangles and all the various ways in which we can utilize what we're going to learn in the next 20 or so videos.